How to take pictures for PAW registration. The Picture and Witness Evaluation Program, known as the PAW Program, was developed by CKC to evaluate non-registered purebred dogs for possible inclusion into CKC's purebred dog registry. We have released two other videos with more information about the PAW program to help you know if it is right for you and how to correctly complete the application process. In this video, we will give you some tips on and show you how to take pictures of your dog in order to submit them. We will show you examples of both a small and large dog and which positions you need photos of as found on the application. Additionally, while it is best to have someone help you with the pictures, we will give you a couple ideas on how to take these pictures alone if absolutely necessary. Before taking the pictures. In these examples, we will use a smartphone to take the pictures since most smartphones have a decent camera and it is a common item to have. While the images cannot be submitted digitally, it is nice to be able to take several shots and then choose the best one. For best results, take these pictures in a well-lit room. Cameras need light to function and will do their best work for you in the best conditions. A photo taken during the day with the lights on will look much better than one at night even if you are using the flash. If you do not have someone to help you with the pictures, try placing a lick mat or plate with some peanut butter onto a table or wall. For smaller dogs, raising them off of the floor with a bench or a stool will help you get better pictures. Photo 1. Head Profile A profile of the canine's head is required for evaluation. This view is used to evaluate the dog's head, including the skull and muzzle size, length, and overall appearance. No part of the head should be cut off in this shot. Photographs must include the head, muzzle, ears, and neck. Tips for head profile shots. With the dog sitting or standing, one handler should hold a treat or a toy one to two feet away from the dog's nose to get the dog's attention. With the second handler squatting down to the dog's level, the second handler will quickly snap a photo of the dog from the side looking at the treat. Be sure to reward the dog's cooperation by giving him or her the treat once the photo has been taken. Photos 2 and 3. Body Profile. Left side and right side. The dog's entire body profile photo is used to evaluate the overall structure and conformation, including forequarter, hindquarter angulation, and body proportions. CKC requires one clear photograph of each side of the dog, one of the dog's complete right side, and one of the dog's complete left side. The dogs must be standing in body profile photos. The left and right body profile photos must include the dog's head, body, legs, and tail, with no part of the dog cut off. These photographs must be taken at the eye level of the dog and not from above or below. Tips for body profile photographs. With the dog in a standing position, one handler should hold a treat or a toy one to two feet away from the dog's nose. While the handler has the dog's attention, a second handler can quickly squat down to the canine's level to snap a photograph of the dog from the side in the standing position. Be sure to reward the dog's cooperation by giving him or her the treat once the photo has been taken. Photo 4. Front Body A photograph of the dog's entire front is required. The frontal photograph is used to evaluate the dog's facial expression, body symmetry, as well as frontal characteristics such as body width and forequarter orientation. No part of the dog should be cut off. The canine must be in a standing position and the photograph must be taken from the dog's eye level. Photo 5. Rear Body A photograph of the dog's entire rear is required. The rear view picture is used to evaluate the dog's body symmetry as well as rear characteristics such as body width and hindquarter orientation. No part of the dog should be cut off. The canine must be in a standing position and the photograph must be taken from the dog's eye level. Tips for front and rear body photographs. With a dog in a standing position, one handler should hold a treat or a toy one to two feet away from the dog's nose. While the handler has the dog's attention, a second handler can quickly squat down to the canine's level, behind or in front of the dog, to snap a shot. Be sure to reward the dog's cooperation by giving him or her the treat once the photo has been taken. Poor examples. The photographs we are about to show you are examples of pictures that would not be accepted for use in a PAW registration evaluation. In this image, the dog is turned, 
The dog is standing in grass, and there is no complete profile of the dog to evaluate. In these images, the photographs are taken from an overhead angle, the dog is sitting, and part of the dog has been cut out of the photo. In this image, the dog is in a sitting position. In this photograph, the dog is being held and restrained in the arms. In this image, multiple dogs in the photograph are not properly identified. In this image, the dog is standing behind an obstruction. This photograph is blurry. In this photograph, the dog is wearing clothing, which is covering up their body. For more information on the PAW program, check out our other video, How to Complete and Submit a PAW Application. And visit ckcusa.com slash PAW to find the PAW application. Thanks for watching.